as you're coming along Glen Fratchery Road here through the start finish, you're probably pulling your nicking top gear probably around 165 mile an hour. You start to drop over the descent to the start of the top of Bray Hill. Through the crossroads here you have to watch the bike because it's very lively there. You have to get it back under control because the hill seems very steep. It's just through the bottom, the bike bottoms out a little and it goes very light over both of the rises in the road here. Just as you get the front wheel down, you have to start shutting off, get on the anchors because you're coming into a very, very gentle first gear bend, which you have to treat with caution. It's uh, fairly slippy with all the road traffic. Uh, get the bike upright and gently accelerate towards Braden Bridge. You get up to around fourth gear here, um, heading in towards Braden. You come back two gears and just this is another bend to be treated with respect. It uh, can be very slippy at times. Once you get the bike upright, you just uh, accelerate away out, in, out into the country towards Union Mills. You start to think you're on the, this is the start of the lap now. You're really emoting. As you go around the left-hander here, you have to watch because the bike, with being cranked over, tends to go lively over that rise in the road. You uh, draw it up on the gear to steady it come into Union Mills where you've got to be very cautious over the bump in the middle of the village here just let the thing ride over it and then up into fourth, fifth gear you're probably pulling around thirteen and a half thousand revs just before you nick into top gear bike up this hill you'll be probably pulling around 165-70 mile an hour as you crest the rise here you'll be pulling top absolutely flat out on top you just dropping out the dip here, nick it back to fifth, through the top of this rise, it goes very light over the rise in the road there, and then this is fast down through this section, very very fast, you're just hanging on, there's a left hander coming up where you just try to keep yourself really tucked in to lose, so you don't lose any drag with the slipstream in effect, you go up past the Crosby Hotel on the right here, and at the top of this hill, the bike tends to wheelie, you have to watch the wind doesn't get under the bike because it can really stand on end. This is possibly one of the fastest sections of the course. Last year I was put through a speed trap here around 189 mile an hour. You come up into Griba Castle and just steady the bike, come back a gear. And this is the first really demanding set of bends, a fast left right flick. You have to watch the camber of the road, it tends to fall away there and head out towards Appledean. The bike goes slightly light over the top. You have to watch when you're changing direction here. Cam the camber of the road starts to fall away, so you have to watch there. Head out towards Greba Bridge. You start to draw the bike up steady on the brakes. Back three gears over the slight bump in the road there. And then away towards Bala Crane. This is one of the sections where it's quite hard work, but also you, th you feel as though you can get a, s a slight breather on this section, just before the really demanding section coming up. There's a small rise in the road here where the front end goes slightly light on the bike, and then it's a case of just gentle braking into Balakrain, back to second gear here, steady.